Good morning. Today we are going to discuss a topic related to the variation of acceleration due to gravity of earth due to rotation of the earth or due to latitude of the earth. So for that we have to draw and imagine that this is the earth. This is the center of the earth. This might be the equator. First of all, we need to know what is latitude. Latitude at a place on earth. Suppose this is a place on the surface of earth. If we join that place to the center of earth, the angle subtended at the center is called latitude lambda. Okay. So suppose we are considering this as point P. When the earth is rotating along this direction, suppose it is rotating with angular velocity omega in this direction, then this point P will also rotate along the earth surface, along a circle like this, along a horizontal circle on the surface of earth. It will cover a horizontal circle in this plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation. And the this circle is appearing as flat because I am drawing it three-dimensionally. I am letting you imagine it three-dimensionally. This will be the radius of the circle, r, small r. And the radius of the earth is this, this capital R. Okay? And this is the latitude, lambda, at this point. So this point on the surface of earth is covering a horizontal circle along the surface of earth due to the rotation of earth. Okay. Now the weight of the particle is acting along this direction towards the center of earth. The weight always acts towards the center of earth. That is mg is towards the center of earth. The weight does not act in vertically direct in downward direction all the time because uh, the earth is round and it acts towards the center of the earth. So if this angle is lambda, this angle will also be lambda alternate angle because these two lines are parallel this angle will also be lambda so as this particle is rotating as this particle is rotating in a horizontal circle it will experience a centrifugal force along this direction away from the circle and centrifugal force is given by m omega square r where r is the radius of the circle it is covering it is uh, completing one circle of radius smaller so here it will be m omega square r okay it will be the centrifugal force experienced by this by the particle of mass m on this point suppose th there is a particle of mass small m on this point then its weight will be acting in this direction centrifugal force acting on the particle will be in this direction okay Now we can resolve this force m omega square r into two components, one component along this direction and one component along this direction. We can resolve any force along two mutually perpendicular directions due to resolution of vectors. Now if this angle is lambda, this angle is also lambda. Okay. So what will be this component? This component will be m omega square r cos lambda because lambda is this angle it will be cos component and this will be m omega square r sin lambda okay now see this m omega square r cos lambda component is directly opposite to the weight mg of the object of the object of mass m it is opposing the weight so it will reduce the weight and the apparent weight will be less apparent weight will be less now let's find out what is r small r small r is see in this triangle suppose we let this um, name this point o this is p already and this is q and in triangle in triangle opq qp or pq is equal to pq is equal to r is equal to op cos lambda because this is the hypotenuse this is the base and this is the angle is equal to op cos lambda 
is equal to r cos lambda that is small r is r capital r cos lambda now this component m omega square r cos lambda can be written as m omega square r cos lambda can be written as m omega square in place of small r we can write capital r cos lambda from this earlier part capital r cos lambda again one more cos lambda is there so it will be m omega square r cos square lambda now what will be the apparent weight apparent weight is the actual weight minus the component that is opposite to it mg is acting towards the center of the earth and this m omega square r cos lambda or m omega square we now found it to be m omega square r cos square lambda same thing capital r cos square lambda or small r cos lambda same thing this component is opposing the weight so the weight will be reduced and reduced and the final value will be what mg minus this so apparent weight is equal to mg minus m omega square r cos square lambda this is the apparent weight so apparent weight in the apparent weight the mass cannot change because mass is constant only the acceleration due, due to gravity might have changed that's why the apparent weight is less so if we consider the apparent acceleration due to gravity at this latitude at this point p to be g lambda then m g lambda we can write the apparent weight it will be m g minus m omega square r cos square lambda so that in the uh, all the terms m is there so we can cancel m so it will be g lambda is equal to g minus omega square r cos square lambda this is the effect due to the rotation of earth so this part is reduced due to rotation of earth this part of g is cancelled or is reduced due to the rotation of the earth at a certain latitude now at the equator this effect is maximum because at the equator this lambda will become zero at the equator lambda will become zero and at the poles the lambda will become 90 degree so at the poles the reducing factor is minimum this omega square r cos square lambda will be omega square r cos square 90 so it will be zero cos 90 is zero so g lambda will be g only so at the poles it will be maximum g at the equator it will be minimum because at the equator cos lambda will be cos 0 or 1 so at the equator g equator is equal to g minus omega square r and at the pole g pole is equal to g minus 0 that is it will be the g that is the maximum value it can have i discuss this part because this is not in the ncrt syllabus directly but it is important for entrance point of view thank you